embarrassing, and it could even be a little bit dangerous. So, yeah, just not too much. Another quick thing uh, that kids know, that you don't take online dating personally. If you're rejected, you're rejected. You go on to the next, next, next. Right. Seniors have got to know that, too. Yes, you don't take rejection personally because you, the Internet can be rude. You can be talking to somebody, communicating, thinking this is the greatest thing that ever happened, and boom, they're gone. And our generation kind of feels, we don't like to be treated that way. But it's not you. It's really the system. It's the game of the Internet. The rhythm of the Internet. And also, because you're older, you have assets. If you go out with somebody, protect your assets. If you're a kid, you may not have to worry about your little bank account, but a senior really does. Yeah, uh, let's say you were married 30 or 40 years, you're a widow or divorcee, and you do have assets, and, and you're lonely, and you know some guy comes along and starts being really nice to you, and all of a sudden wants to borrow your credit card to you know go do this or that. Protect your assets. Please, please don't be naive when you're on this Internet dating. Okay. Biggest advice you have to give is just two words. Be realistic, which means? Don't expect things are going to happen overnight. You know, you may go on and, wow, you didn't get any hits. Maybe you have to go back and change your photo a bit. Maybe you go back and change your, your personal ad. But don't give up hope. It only takes one. It only takes one person. So just keep, keep at it. And think of it as fun and, and, and not as a you know, make or break for your life. It's oh, absolutely. We, we've got it. Yeah, it's just another thing we're doing to try to market ourselves. Don't take it personally. Okay, Tom Blake, thanks a lot.